All right, we are walking back here, uh, back into the one part of our property, back to our hidden meadow, because um, I want to check for storm damage. We had the uh, Hurricane Lee come through a couple days ago and some trees down in the area. I'll show you one of our local roads here. Um, I'll show you a picture of Oliver sitting on some big trees that fell down. They had to push them off the road with heavy equipment. Here's the picture. You can see that uh, those are some big trees, definitely. So looking around the property here, I don't see a whole lot of damage from the smaller stuff, but I've we have a really huge maple tree back here, so I want to go back and see if it's okay because we do get some uh, maple sap from it, which you can turn into maple syrup and ultimately maple sugar. I have my uh, companion here with me. It was on Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday night. Then what is today? Uh, Monday. Yes, Monday. June the, was it 16th, 17th, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. 17th. June 17th or 18th or I don't know. I think it's the 18th. 18th? It might All right. <laughs> so, but I uh, wanted to update everybody about the Wolfton issue. Hopefully that wind's not too bad. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, let me get this thing quick here. Put that in my pocket. Let's keep walking here. Um, how's the thing going with Wolfton? Let me give you a, a little update on that. Okay, I can see the tree from here. Whoa. The big tree. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, only pick one. Those. All right, here's the apples. Show your apple. All right. You're going to take a little bite out of that? Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let's pray for it real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless, sanctify, and cleanse that apple. Thank you for it. And I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. How is it? Pretty good. I'll have to tell you once I get to the seeds. All right. Yeah, typically we go and see if the seeds are dark yet or if they're light. If they're darker, then you know it's kind of, then it's ready. But uh, let me show you back here real quick. If I can show you, um, these branches are kind of in the way. Let me just get through here. Some more apples hanging there. Not very big apples, these wild ones. Sometimes you get some that are bigger. But uh, way back there, that one right back in there, um, that's way back in pretty far. These other trees that you're seeing, it, it doesn't look much higher than these other trees right here, but that's because these are closer. That one's way back in the woods. I'd say probably a good, oh, 150 yards, maybe 200 yards back in there where these others are a lot closer. And so I can see it standing from here, huge big maple tree. And so uh, it looks like it made it through the bad storm. And this tree right here, just to tell you this little story here, this one right here going up, this is actually a sugar maple. That one back there is a red maple. Acer rubrum is a botanical name. Acer saccharum is the uh, botanical name for that. And um, this one here, this tree right there had a lot of Moro's honeysuckle, sort of an invasive species, foreign introduced species around the base of it. And it was just not growing very well. We cut the, all the stuff down around it and it really shot up fast. It was just a little tiny tree um, a few years ago. And now it's probably a good, I'd say at least 24 foot high, probably something like that. Um, so, but just to does it have the seeds dark in it. Oh yeah, right there they are. That ripe. It's so it's ripe. a it's a ripe apple. All right, sounds good. We'll have to come back in and pick them. You can see there all the nice little red apples on there. Wow, those are beautiful. Yeah, there's some good ones on there. Good number of them. Um, so the issue with Wolfton. Um, the, as it stands right now, the Land Use Planning Commission here in Maine 
they have to give Wolfton the permission to mine. Well, in order for them to do that, Wolfton has to make a proposal to them and say that we can do this and we can, you know, we have enough funding, we have enough uh, whatever experience and whatever else, um, which they do have. Uh, Ron Little does have experience. A lot of people say he's inexperienced or whatever. That's just a brand new mining company. Well, Ron Little does have experience with Orzone, his company that he was with uh, for, I forget how many years it was. Uh, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something. I forget what the time was. I made a video about it. I'll link it at the end. And um, they were over in Bur Burkina Faso and they did all kinds of horrible stuff over there, including taking people's land from them. So I don't think we want that guy coming here into this area. And it's literally a couple miles north of where we're at right now, where they're going to be. So it pretty much would ruin the whole area here. And um, they're making all these impossible claims and everything else. It'll be this perfect green mine. It'll produce no pollution. The, the water quality uh, that comes out of the mine will be better than what went in. And uh, how's that even possible? But what they're going to be doing is they're going to have a meeting in Millinocket on October the 16th, which is a Monday, through October 18th, Wednesday, at Stearns Junior Senior High School. Okay, and people can make public comments. If you're in the area down there, you can go down and uh, voice your opposition to it. I mean, you know, why do we have this area here in Northern Maine? What drew people like me here? Was it for the job opportunities? No, it was for the beauty of the area. You know, going and seeing the pristine waters and the native brook trout and everything else and, and the moose and the deer and the turkeys and the fishers and I mean just name all the little short-tailed weasels I mean just beautiful wildlife beautiful mountains up here all the beauty of it and everything I mean we're starting to get into the early stages of autumn with the leaves changing and I want this to feel dynamite going off a few miles to the north I can see all kinds of stars at night but when Wolfton comes in I won't see anything because they're whole operation up there just to the north of us is going to be all lit up well bye bye you know night sky um that's why I'd, I'd like to ask people's help in opposing this if you can go to it if you're in the area then please go um the other thing that you can do uh, there's another meeting in bangor the time and date will be announced but you can check with uh, the nrcm national resource council of maine i think is what it's called they would have it on their website you can go to bangor to another hearing with the Land Use Planning Commission. Um, another thing that you could do, you say, well, Brian, I'm not even in the state of Maine. I'd like to help, but I can't. Okay, then go to the maine.gov website and type in Land Use Planning Commission or LUPC, and it will come up with a thing of a public hearing. You can leave a public comment. And, um, you know, you can get in there and you can say, well, you know, I'm a, I've been made aware of, of this. You know, you, you can say my name or you don't have to or whatever. And you just say, I stand opposed to this. I think it's wrong. Give some scripture why you think it's wrong, or don't. You don't have to give scripture. Whatever, you know. Use it as an opportunity to witness and make it about the mining thing. Don't just get in there and be an idiot or something, and you know, write some nasty comment or something like that. Um, but you know, Christians have gotten into a pacifistic state where they just simply say, well, you know what, brother, the Lord's coming back soon. The rapture's coming. You know, it's going to be happening soon. Here, we're going to be. You know, look up for your redemption, draw off nigh, and we don't have to do anything. Um, well, that's not what the Bible teaches. The New Testament teaches that we are to let, hinder the Antichrist system. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. It's talking about the body of Christ. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to be here, and we're supposed to be active right up until the Lord, time the Lord says, come up hither. Uh, we don't just say, oh, well, let somebody else take care of the problems. Um, you know... Uh, that's one of the big reasons that the body of Christ is in such rotten shape right now. Because we've just pushed off our problems on our elected officials or somebody else will take care of it or whatever else. Um, this is God's creation out here. And you have to do something not to preserve in the sense of don't touch it. But we're supposed to be stewards. We're supposed to take care of what God has given us. All right? I'd be like saying I'm not going to you know, wash my dishes or something like that. Because after all, the Lord's coming back, so who cares? We shouldn't worry about it becoming worldly if you wash dishes. Well, of course not. You know, you're going to get a lot of very bad bacteria growing on your dishes if you don't ever wash them, you know, and lots of nice green algae or something like that. Flies. Flies. Hmm? Yeah, 
puking on it. Yeah. Yeah, flies, they fly onto it and then they puke onto it and then they eat that, you know, stuff. <laughs> Real tasty. But, um, you know, we have to do things. So I'm just asking for people's, and if you say, I don't want to do any of that, okay, then can you just please pray? Because if Wolfton presents this thing, see, before they were going to do it, and then they withdrew their uh, petition or whatever to go and mine there, because if they hadn't withdrawn it, they would have had it rejected. But, um, you know, big business. Uh, what's the uh, H.C. Haynes or something? Or is it Haynes logging? And maybe Irving, I think. Dog um, Palm or something? No, no, that's the mill. Um, but the big, there's big logging uh, companies that just log and they just rape the living daylights out of the, a lot of the land up here. And it just do a terrible job with logging. I mean, just awful. And they come into properties and just take, you know, if it's growing out of the ground, take it down, you know, kind of a mindset. I see log trucks going by all the time up here and I think, man, you couldn't saw a two by four out of that. And I realize it's going to a pulp mill or something, but still, you know, let the forest kind of spring back. Some selective cutting would be nice once in a while. And I talk to other people up here, Mainers and things, and they say, yeah, it's just a huge big business and they, they uh, get subsidies from the government and whatever else. And, you know, it's just a big scam. Irving comes in, they, they uh, log things and then they spray glyphosate to kill the plants that come up like the red raspberries and whatever and and uh, a lot of people have said about how it kills a lot of the wildlife including the white-tailed deer which is also uh, one of the problems for uh, big commercial logging because deer can eat the young saplings and things and stuff so just a huge corrupt big system but um, so sorry about my rant here but uh, if you want to learn more about this Wolfton issue and what's going on and uh, see what you can do to help then watch the videos at the end pray for us um, again you know I bought this land two months before Wolfton bought their land to the north of us and I'm not going to build my dream house here if Wolfton is going to come in and move into the area and be doing you know trucks and all kinds of stuff and hauling dynamite right past my place my office in town and whatever I don't want to be in the area um, you know it's interesting too because we had a town official uh, from Patton and he was following me to work the one day following us to work the one day and as he went by uh, I looked back in my mirror as I was turning into my driveway at the office and I looked back and and he put his head out the window and he went and he spit towards my property <laughs> Wow that's the kind of caliber you have there. I mean, I couldn't sleep for three days. I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. But, you know, that's the kind of crooked little devils we have in this area. So please pray for us in this. Um, I'm going to keep fighting it. Even if they get their way, I'll still fight. So, but uh, I guess that will be it. So thank you very much for watching. Take some time to watch the videos at the end. See you in the next video. One other thing I forgot to mention about the whole Wolfton thing and the people that are supporting it. The only reason people are supporting it is because it will bring jobs to the area, which is a total, complete lie. Having come from Pennsylvania, when the uh, gas fracking thing happened, they were bringing jobs in from out of state. A lot of people from Texas were coming. And ironically, we actually have a solar farm outside of the town of Patton, and... Uh, when they were putting it up and putting it together, it was mostly people from out of state. Texas, mm -hmm. Minnesota, other states like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, where were the local jobs that were created putting in a solar farm? That's right. Uh, very few, if any. So when Wolfton comes to town, they're not going to take the time to train local people and whatever. It's going to be out of state jobs. You know it will be. That's the way it always is. So it's a, just a lie. And basically what you have is you have the big companies. They want to be able to make some profit from this whole thing. Um, do some logging or do some whatever big heavy equipment moving. That's what it is. It's just, you know, big companies, big corporations working together trying to get this mining thing going. So that's why we ask for people to pray about it being stopped. We ask for people to go leave comments and do whatever else. If you're in Maine, you need to be seriously concerned about this because it's not just Pickett Mountain that they want to do up north that way. 
It's also Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain. A lot of other areas across around the state. I've seen once they get too. permission, once they get permission to start mining, it's just going to be the whole state. They're going to ruin the whole state. Um, we have to fight it. Uh, if you're a Christian, you have to fight it uh, because it's the destruction of what God made. So please do pray about it. Please, if you can, help out in some way. Thank you for watching.